Are you a collector or are you a flipper? Are they a collector or are they a flipper? I think too many times we get caught up on our self-imposed or projected definitions of what those mean and then like what defines someone as a flipper or collector and then what it means if someone's a flipper or a collector. Because I think ultimately all of us except for a few people are probably both. Um, I first want to say that I don't think that someone comes in and flips cards is a bad thing for the hobby, nor are they a bad person. I also think that it's a form of gatekeeping when we do get too worried about people that tend to flip more. I mean, if you look at what I do, percentage-wise, I am probably defined as a flipper. Probably 95% plus defined that way. But I would argue with you that I am also a collector. I collect any and all Ravens cards. I collect Ben Wallace. I like collecting Washington Wizards cards when it's in their old like powder blue and white jerseys and not the style they have going now. The one that ended in like 2009, 2010. Um, I would say that I'm a collector based on how weird that collection is, right? I keep those cards, I don't sell them. But I have a business established that's based on me flipping cards. I go out and I look for cards that I know I can buy for a certain price and sell to someone for more. Um, it's all a part of the ecosystem of the hobby anyways. And I don't think that it's a bad thing when someone is solely a collector. Um, I don't think that it's a bad thing when someone is solely a flipper. I do understand the frustration with not being able to get certain product or feel like prices keep going up because of that. But flippers are just a part of the system. And I would argue that anyone that claims they are a collector solely um, ultimately has a price on any card where they would let it go or if they needed to have that cash in hand would let it go. So if we're defining collections and PC items as things that you'll literally keep for forever, um, I think that that actually is a really small amount of people and is also a small amount of items, even when we look at our own stuff. I know for one that if it came down to it and my family absolutely needed money, that anything that I even deem in my personal collection would go out the door. Um, I, I just think that both can exist. I don't think that... I think collectors never really get the bad rep except for maybe the way they feel towards people that flip. Um, but I don't think that flippers outside of, you know, scamming or completely unfairly cleaning up product is something to worry about. And I think that, speaking to my flippers now, in modes where obviously they have quantity amounts on product you can grab, but I do think that it's cool to leave some for the next person, especially the next kid, as much as we can. I understand that when a deal pops up, it's very tempting to get as much as we can. But I think that it's kind of the honorable thing to leave something for the next person, too. Um, yeah, so that's my take. What do you guys feel? Do you feel like everyone is... Uh, a little bit of both. Do you feel like there are people who are solely flippers, solely collectors? Do you think that both can exist in our little ecosystem of the hobby? What are your thoughts?